Hello. Hi. My name is Chris. I'm a student nurse at the University of Detroit Mercy, and I'm here to perform a head to toe assessment on you today, okay? Okay. And just wash my hands. Do you have any allergies that I should be aware of? Nope. No? Okay. And then, are you in any pain today? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Where at? Um, down my foot. And your foot? Is it radiating up or down anywhere? Yeah, it's kind of going up to my knee. Up to your knee? Okay. Um, what does it feel like? Is it a sharp, dull, throbbing pain? It's kind of like a throbbing. A throbbing pain. Okay. And how long have you had that? Uh, like three days. Three days. Did you do anything to hurt it? I was it? running and I think I just like landed on it. Okay. And then if you could rate it on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, what would you rate it as? Uh, like a 4. A 4? Okay. Um, do you need any pain medicine right now before we continue? No. Okay. Well, I'll note that down and let the doctor know, okay? Mm -hmm. um, can I check your bracelet? And can you verify your name? Uh, Jenny Marks. And your date of birth? 5 1991 Got it. So I just have a few questions for you. Do you know where you are? I'm in the hospital. And why are you here? Uh, I'm doing head to assessment. Got it. And do you know your um, birth date? Or your, um, how old you are? 23. 23. Okay. So the patient is alert and oriented times four to time, place, and surroundings. Um, she does not appear to be any physical um, sign of distress. No physical illness is obvious. She appears her stated age, her speech, it's clear, um, fluid, and she does not have any signs of slurring. She's talking at the right rate and volume. And her hygiene is good. She's dressed appropriately for the setting. There's no obvious body odors or smells. Um, and her hair is neatly groomed. So I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. Let me know if anything's uncomfortable or painful for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Hair distribution appears even. There's no sign of balding or patches. Her hair is thick and it is moist and dry, or moist, it's not dry or brittle. So that's good. Let me just check your face. So she's warm and dry to the touch. Um, there's no lesions, um, no bruising, no sign of swelling. Her pigmentation is even and smooth. There's no sign of cyanosis or reddening. Um, her pupils are equal and round at resting state, um, and her conjunctiva is clear, glossy, and moist. Okay, I'm just going to test your pupillary light reflex, so if you could just look straight ahead at me, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. So both pupils constrict at the same time, and I want you to watch my pen light as it comes towards you. Good. So both pupils constrict and converge. So pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. So I'm just going to have you open up your mouth so I can check in there. Good. Mucosa is pink. It's moist. There's no sign of lesions, no sign of um, bleeding. Her gums are good. There's no sign of marginal retraction. They're pink. There's no bleeding. Teeth are all visible. They're white and clean. Um, they're evenly spaced. Can you stick out your tongue for me and say ah? Ah. Good. So uvula protrudes up midline and her tongue is, appears moist. It's pink. It's a rough um, texture which is normal and there's a thin white coating. Um, her tonsils are barely visible which would be rated as a 1 plus. I don't notice any discharge or swelling. So that's good. I'm just going to palpate your carotid arteries. So both are equal bilaterally. They're strong. They're not um, weak or bounding. I would rate them as a 2 plus. I'm just going to take a listen with the bell for any breweries. So when I put my stethoscope on you, just um, hold your breath, okay? Good. Go ahead and breathe. And hold your breath one more time. Good. So there's no sound of whooshing, which means there's no breweries present. Okay, so now... I'm just going to go down your arms. So patient is warm and dry to the touch. She does have a small lesion. Um, it's symmetric. The border is even. It's not irregular. Um, color is um, red. It doesn't look inflamed. And it's not elevated. And it's about a one millimeter diameter. Um, I don't notice any pigmentation, irregularities, no um, jaundice, no swelling. Um, Brachial pulses are even. 
they're strong, they're not weaker bounding, and so I rate them as a two plus. And then coming down your arms, your radial pulses are equal, they're strong, I'd rate them as a two plus, but because the, they're not um, weaker bounding. Coming down to the fingers, nail beds look clean, they're not cracked, brittle, or dry. Um, there's no sign of clubbing. Capillary refill is equal in both hands. Um, it's a, less than a second. Um, and can you squeeze my fingers for me? Good. So strength is equal bilaterally. Um, there's no sign of weakness. So I'm just going to take a listen to your heart now. So I'm going to start up at the aortic heart which is in the second intercostal space on the right. I hear S2 sounds loudest here. Then moving over to the pulmonic, which is in the second intercostal space on the left, where S2 sounds are heard loudest. The herbs, which is in the S or er, um, which is in the third intercostal space where S2 sounds are heard loudest. Okay. Moving down to the tricuspid valve, which is in the fourth intercostal space. S1 sounds are heard loudest, and over to the mitral valve, where S1 sounds are heard loudest. And I would listen here for a full 60 seconds for the apical heart rate. So I'm just going to switch to the bell and listen for any abnormalities. Mitral, good, tricuspid, herbs, pulmonic, and aortic. Good, so I don't hear any abnormal S3 or 4 sounds. Um, I don't hear any murmurs, so the heart sounds are strong and even. I'm just going to take a listen to your lungs now. Whenever you feel my stethoscope, if you could take a deep breath for me, okay? Let me know if you get dizzy at all. So go ahead and breathe. Good, and again. And again. Go ahead and breathe normal for me. So the lung sounds are equal bilaterally. I don't hear any adventitious crackles or wheezes. And let me check her lateral sides. Good. So no adventitious noises there. Let's check your back. Can you take a deep breath, breath for me? Good. And again? Okay. Go ahead and breathe normal. So I don't hear any adventitious sounds on the back either. No cracking or wheezing. And lung sounds are equal bilaterally on the back as well. I'm just going to check your t kidneys. Um, just let me know if you feel any pain or discomfort, okay? Anything? No. Okay. Any tenderness? No. Okay, so that is her CV angle and it assesses any um, kidney infection or inflammation. I'm just going to have you sit forward for me. Good. So I'm checking her spine. It is symmetric, it's straight, there's no sign of curvature or scoliosis. And then I can also assess that her um, anterior posterior diameter would be a two to one. She has no barrel testing. Okay, go ahead and have a seat for me, or lay back for me and assess your abdomen. So I'm going to start out by inspecting her abdomen and then I'm going to auscultate, percuss, and palpate. So I'm noticing that her abdomen is flat, it has a flat contour, there's no visible lesions, her pigmentation is even, um, no sign of jaundice or cyanosis or pallor, her umbilicus is midline and inverted, and I don't notice any scars. So I'm just going to take a listen and all four quadrants to hear your bowel sounds.
So vowel sounds are present. I hear high pitch gurgling. Um, if I didn't hear it, I would wait for five minutes in each quadrant. Um, I'm going to percuss now. Um, I hear a tympanic sound there over the intestine, and then it's doll over the liver, doll over the spleen, and tympanic over the intestines in the lower left quadrant. So now I'm going to just palpate your um, abdomen. Just let me know if you feel any tenderness, okay? So in the lower left quadrant, we have the sigmoid colon and the appendix. And then in the upper right quadrant, we have the liver and gallbladder. And over in the upper left quadrant, we have the stomach, pancreas, and the spleen. And then in the lower left quadrant, we have the sigmoid colon. Did you feel any tenderness during that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she reports no tenderness, and I do not feel any muscle rigidity um, or guarding, so her abdomen appears normal. All right, go ahead and sit up for me. Okay, so I would note that I don't see any jugular vein distension, so JVD is normal. Okay, let me just check your leg. I'm going to go down. So she's warm and dry to the touch. Um, I don't see any visible lesions, no scarring, no bruising. Um, we're going to check her popliteal pulses. Good. So they're strong. They're not weak or bounding. I would rate them as a 2. They're equal bilaterally. And then going down into her tibial pulses. Good. They're equal bilaterally. They're strong. I would rate them as a 2 plus. And then down to through the dorsal pedis pulse. Good. So they're equal bilaterally, strong, not um, weak or bounding. And then I'm just going to check your reflex. Good. Good. So the um, Babinski test is negative. She has plantar flexion and Inversion. Okay. So I'm going to have you stand up. Okay. Good. Can you put your hands out for me? And close your eyes. Do you feel any dizziness? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, good. So the Romberg test is positive. Um, she's able to stand without dizziness or falling. And then can you take a walk to the wall and back for me? Good. So the get up and go test is good. She's able to ambulate and move properly. Head toss assessment done.